hello everyone happy sunday god bless you thank you for joining me for the prophetic word for today i appreciate every single one of you thank you to all of you who are joining us on the prayer line on tuesdays and thursdays 8 p.m eastern standard time and if you're not joining us yet what in the world are you waiting for come on come join us on tuesdays and thursdays 8 p.m eastern standard time i will leave the information on the screen here and also in the description box down below the title of the video for with a link for those who would like to join uh, from outside the United States. And as you join us, you will be transformed, healed, delivered, and set free in the name of Jesus. I brought you the prophetic word for today. But before then, let me remind you that next week, next week, Friday, is our Women of Valor Prayer Conference. That is next Friday, the 29th of July at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That will be live right here on YouTube. So I pray that you will be able to join me. I'll be going live at that time by the grace of God. Make sure you join. If you haven't been joining, what in the world are you waiting for? Come on, come join us. You need to hear what the Lord has to say this time. And we are going to be praying into that and also interceding as the spirit of God leads. So come join me. That's next Friday, July 29th at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, live right here on YouTube. God bless you as you do so. I have brought you the prophetic word for today. God is bringing you out. The, the Lord says you will come out of this. You will come out of this. The Lord has sent me with this prophetic word to encourage someone today to empower you and give you the boost that you need to continue to move forward, to continue to press forward. The Lord says you will come out of whatever you're going through. He will not allow you to be tested beyond what you can bear. And for every test or trial, the Lord says he has already prepared or made a way out. He has prepared or made a way out. 1 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 13. I'm reading the NET version. It says, no trial has overtaken you that is not faced by others. Meaning whatever you're going through now, you're not alone. You are not alone. It feels like you're alone. Oh, I know the feeling. It feels like you are alone. Others have been through the same thing the Bible says that you're going through even now. They have been through it and they came through it because God was with them. As many of are going to remain with God he will bring you through the Lord says you are coming through you are coming out of this thing the Bible continues and it says and God is faithful he will not let you be tried beyond what you are able to bear but with the trial it will also provide a way out so that you may be able to endure it do you hear the word of God today maybe you're dealing with a loss of a loved one maybe you're dealing with a loss of a job maybe you're dealing with end of a marriage or challenges even in your marriage maybe you're dealing with financial issues maybe you're dealing with health health issues whatever you're going through remember this word of the Lord my God and know know that God can sustain you God can strengthen you <laughs> he can provide a way out for you when he says I'm not it's not that I can alone but I will my God it is it's not just that he can but he will he will he has sent me to tell you I will you are coming out I will make a way I have already even provided the way out for you let me tell you I've been through so much that only the hand and the mercy of God uh, brought me out of it was only the hand of God that sustained me and so I, I am his witness that he is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we could ever think imagine or pray for my God we he can do so much more than what you think don't you dare look at your situation and say I'm just gonna give up he says I'm bringing you through the only people that don't come through are those who give up in the journey my god you don't give up in the journey you don't give up in the process you will come through he will bring you out he says i am bringing you out you are coming out you will come out of this the lord says and uh, i gotta tell you when my 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 little sister passed away many years ago and then when my mother and my father passed away i don't i you know i don't have to understand understand the details uh, of why God allowed it. All I had to do was
was, was trust him, my God. All I had to do was trust him. And I continue to remind myself of this same Bible passage because I it felt, you know, even in the midst of a lot of people, I will feel alone, my God. I will feel alone. There were people around me, but I still felt all alone. But the Lord continues to remind me, even on days that I've, that on days that sorrow and heartbreak took a hold of my heart, on days that it felt like I couldn't go on another day. Yabu Shatai. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I had to remember that though sorrow may last for a night, even joy comes in the morning. My God, this is a word for someone today. God has sent me to tell you to get up and keep on moving. My God, get up and keep on moving. Get up and keep on moving. You will make it. You will come through this. You will come through this. For his mighty hand will bring you out. His righteous right hand will bring you out. Out. It will bring you out. It will bring you out. It will bring you out. Morning is not the next day per se. Morning is the day that your hope is revived and restored and the light of God comes to swallow up the darkness in your heart. My God, are you hearing the Holy Spirit? Morning is not the next day. Uh, morning is the day and it is today, the day that your hope is revived and restored and the light of God comes to swallow up the darkness in your heart. For some of you, such a day is today. You have to believe for it. Your morning has come. Your morning has come and I decree today, according to the word of the Lord, may your joy be restored in the name of Jesus. May your hope be restored in the name of Jesus. May your peace be restored in the name of Jesus. May your laughter be restored in the name of Jesus. May your faith be restored in the name of Jesus. May your strength be restored in the name of Jesus. Redabo Shata, you will not die there. Uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. You are coming through, my God. You are coming out of this one. He is taking you out. He is bringing you out. You just don't sit. Don't sit. Don't throw in the towel. Just keep on moving. He is bringing you out. He is bringing you out. Mm, he's getting you unstuck. I know some of you are saying, but I feel stuck, but I feel alone. But it seems like I'm the only one going through this. The word of God has come to tell you, you're not the only one. You're not the only one. You're not the only one for no trial has overtaken you that is not faced uh, by others. Uh, uh, none, 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 none. Meaning others have been through it. And God is yet faithful. <laughs> he will not let you be tried beyond what you are able to bear but with the trial it will also provide a way out so that you may be able to endure it not only will you endure it the Lord will bring you out oh you're going through a fire now you're going through the fire now he is bringing you out you will be brighter shining brighter than diamond you will be shining brighter than gold when you come out refined purified you will come out better than before you went in for the lord is with you the lord is with you the lord is with you and father we thank you we thank you for your promises are yes and amen. We give you praise for you are loving father. Oh, you are a good, good father. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord, for you first loved us. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for your grace. Thank you for lifting the burdens of these ones that are under the sound of my voice. Thank you for touching their lives. Thank you for restoring hope and joy back to them. Thank you for mending every broken heart, oh God. Oh, thank you for making a way for them where there seems to be no way. Oh Jesus, thank you for bringing rivers out of the desert for these ones. I pray for them from the bottom of my heart. That as you have brought me through many trials, you will bring them through. Oh, Spirit of the living God, you will show them mercy. You will show them mercy. You will show them mercy. You will give them strength to keep on going. 
to not give up to not give up you will shine your light upon their lives for there's nothing that is impossible for you to do as many as have given their lives to you and they're sold out to you and they cry to you day and night in your mercy please answer them wipe away their tears oh God and give them an open testimony that your name alone may be glorified in and through their lives in the name of Jesus oh we give you praise now for having answered blessed be your holy name oh we thank you for you have answered for you are the God who answers by fire in Jesus mighty name we are praying amen amen and amen God bless you Woo. wasn't planning on that one <laughs> hallelujah God bless you thank you for joining me again if this word has blessed you make sure you subscribe share like leave your comments and know that the Lord is with you join us on the prayer line on Tuesdays and Thursdays 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. God bless you. Have a wonderful and a blessed day.